singing the song softly having his 2 years old daughter Kiki in his arms he made her sleep this was his everyday routine and mockingbird song being Kiki's favorite lullaby helps her sleep when Jungkook sings it to her every night Jungkook kissed the forehead of his daughter and turned the other side to try to sleep just like any other night he shifted his gaze into emptiness slowly taking a walk through a memory lane which he loves and repents the most Tears fell from Jungkook's eyes as he recalled about you once again like every day. It's been 6 months since you died and there was not a single day he didn't miss you. He took his phone and started looking at your pictures. Yuvan Jango did it for 2 years and then got married. Everything was perfect. He got his love and then Kiki. He got a beautiful family and when everything felt like forever, he lost you. You met with an accident in Jeju. You and JK and Kiki had gone for a vacation. You went to buy something alone in a cab while JK and Kiki were in the hotel room. Your cab got into an accident and the car fell off the cliff and drowned in the river. The driver's dead body was found but not yours. He waited for a month until police told him they couldn't find you so he should consider you dead. He felt like ending his life. He didn't go to office. He drank for several days. But one day he saw his daughter getting scared of him because he used to come home drunk and talk rudely to Mrs. John. He realized Kiki needs him and he too needs Kiki. So he decided to live. The reason was your daughter. The only precious possession he has now was Kiki. She is a shadow of his wife. When he looks at her, he feels you to be around. Her habits that she got from you, her blonde hair and eyes same as yours. At night when he is exhausted by his life, he looks at his daughter and once again gains energy to live. With every rising sun, he lifts up his hope and tries one more day to smile without you just for his daughter. 
He feels like getting drunk but he stops himself just for his daughter. He is trying to learn how to live without you. Kiki is a symbol of your and his love. He wants to cherish Kiki with all the love that you wished for but couldn't give her. He wants to live even if it's hard. Me and Kiki just came to meet you. We have any meeting right now? She came into Jungkook's office with Kiki in her arms. He smiled and took Kiki in his arms. He kissed her cheek several times and she giggled cutely. He and Mrs. Jones settled down on the couch. I think I did a good thing bringing her here. She is so happy to see you. Oh no no, I don't want anything. I just came to talk to you about something very important. Mrs. Jones sighed and held his hand. Jango, please, at least think about Kiki. She is just two years old. She needs a mother. I'm not telling you to forget Vyan. But at least for our Kiki, she will grow up without a mother and I don't want it to happen. And as the time passes, you also... Yes, Kiki have me, but what about the time when I'm no more? You know very well, Jungkook, I'm not capable of taking care of Kiki for a very long time as I'm sick nowadays. You and me can be enough for her, but we can't become her mother. Kiki has just started talking few words and she can barely stand. And I'm getting old, Jungkook, I can't take care of her alone. I still need maids who help me with Kiki. And imagine the time when I'm no more by her side. Will you leave her alone with maids or nanny? Or take her with you everywhere you go for business trips. She will grow up on her own without a mother in this cruel world. Do you think it is easy? This is the phone number of Kim Hyunji. I will set a blind date for you to meet her if you agree. She is a nice girl. I have known her for a very long time. I hope you will think about it carefully. And just as she was talking, Kiki began to cry and Yago became anxious. He stood up with Kiki in his arms and tries to calm her but nothing was helping. She is sleepy, Jungkook. You have to learn so much about her. Tell me, can you do both work and look after Kiki when I'm no more? Okay, okay, now give her to me. I'll make her sleep. Jungkook nodded and tries to give Kiki to Mrs. John, but Kiki started crying even more and was not ready to leave her daddy. I think she wants you right now. Jungkook hugged her tightly and patted her back softly again and again, trying to calm her down. He began humming the song, whispering it near Kiki's ear, and she calmed down eventually and her eyelids became heavy, which meant she was finally falling asleep. Just then Jungkook's secretary came inside. Boss, the meeting is going to begin. Jagup gestured him to be quiet and he stopped talking. He did the lip syncing to the whole sentence without making any sound and his secretary understood it and left the room. Jungkook, I think you should make a decision now. Jungkook was left with a lot of thoughts. Does Kiki really need some other? Yes, she does. 
Jungkook was waiting in the restaurant for Kim Hyun Ji with whom Mrs. Jeon set a date for him. Mrs. Jeon can never be more happy that her son finally decided to meet Hyun Ji. Um hi Jungkook. Jungkook was lost in thoughts looking outside the window when her voice brought him back from his trance. She smiled and settled down but there was no expression on Jungkook's face. Both of them talked about various things until it was time to leave. Jungkook, you you are a very nice person. I mean I like talking to you. Yes, yeah, sure. Hyunji got flustered by Jungkook's question. She knew he would ask this. Actually, I Jungkook, I don't have any problem. I mean, I kind of like you ever since I saw your picture when your mother sent a proposal for marriage. And I think Yeah, sure. I think now I should go back home. It's getting late. Don't worry, I will think about what you said. Bye. Jungkook nodded and both of them left the place. Mom, please give it a second thought. Do you really want to spoil my life like that? He said don't expect anything from him. I mean, I don't have any problem from his daughter, but he he will not treat me as his wife. Then what's the point? Spoiling your life? Can't you see I'm thinking about your bright future? He is one of the rich businessmen. Once you get married, he will see whatever you show him. He has so much money that you have never ever seen in your dreams. You'll be the queen of all his wealth. Got it? So just get married and everything will be sorted. But mom, I don't want to hear anything. I have already talked to Mrs. John and we have fixed the date of your wedding. It's next week, so get ready for shopping. She left the room after scolding Hyunji. She covered her face in her palms and not knowing what to do. I'm so sorry cook but it was Mrs Kim's decision. She already booked the venue for the wedding in Jeju before telling me. So now we have to go there. I can't do anything. Mrs Kim was insisting so much and I couldn't say no. Please Jungkook cooperate with this. I'm so sorry. Madam, this gown looks very nice on you. You said looking at Hyunji as she was trying the wedding gowns in the shop. Hmm, yeah, it's nice. I don't know. Show me some more. Hey, you silly girl. Didn't you hear? Go and get her more dresses. She talked rudely to you as you were standing there. You actually work here in Jeju in this bridal boutique. Yes, madam, I'll get it. You came with new dresses and helped Hyunji to wear it. This time Mrs Kim was sitting outside the dressing room and so Hyunji kept all the dresses aside without wearing them. You got confused. Ma'am, what happened? Are you not going to try the dress? Uh, I don't like any one of them. They are all good, but I don't have any wish to get married. What am I going to do? She closed her eyes and hid her face in her palms being tense about everything. Ma'am, are you okay? What happened? You got worried about her. Hyunji had so much on her mind, so she ended up telling you everything. Don't cry, dear. I think your mother is right. After you get married, everything will be fine. You are a beautiful lady, dear. Who won't fall for you? And after all, he'll be your husband. And it's normal he can't forget his first wife so easily. It must be a traumatic experience for him. But you, just when you were trying to console her, Mrs. K enters the room. What the hell? You didn't help her wear any dresses? What are you even doing here, huh? Do you even know how to do this job? Mom, come down. I already chose the dress. Stop scolding her. No, dear, let me tell her. Do you even know whom my daughter is going to marry? John Jungkook, the biggest businessman. He has so much money that he can even buy your whole shop, everything here. Got it? 
You just stood there bowing at her while apologizing several times when other senior employees Cindy of the shop also came there hearing the chaos. I apologize madam please calm down ma'am. Mom come on stop it. They walked out of the shop while you were in your thoughts. What name she said? John Jungkook? Have I heard it before? But why I feel like it's related to my memories? Oh no no don't think about your memories. My doctor strictly told me to not try to recall anything. Otherwise I'll again get the panic attack. Calm down why and You tried to shrug your thoughts when Cindy looked at you. This is the last warning I'm giving you. If you mess again I swear I'll get you fired. If you are sick why don't you just rest at home? Stupid. She walked out as you just said sorry to her in your broken voice not knowing what to do. You can't rest. You need money even if you are sick you have to work. Hey you, get it ready fast. You are so slow, do you know? The ceremony is going to begin. Yeah, yes ma'am, she is almost ready. Mom, please stop scolding her all the time. She is really good in her work. Don't worry. Ha, huh, never mind. By the way, oh my daughter is looking so pretty. I bet Jungkook will fall in love when he sees you like this. Oh, my beautiful baby. Oh, mom, stop overreacting. No ma'am, you are actually very pretty. Do your work. No one asked you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hinji was walking down the aisle as Jungkook stood there on the stage. You were among the guests, serving them drinks when your eyes fell on the groom. He was looking down at the floor and your gaze got stuck at him. What is the strange feeling rolling in? You stood frozen at your spot as you got goosebumps all over your body and you kept looking at his face. Have I seen him before? Your head started aching as several scenes flashed in front of your eyes. No, don't, don't try to recall. Stop this. Your breathing got uneven and your headache at its extreme level. You realized you were having a panic attack, but this time it was more severe because a lot of memories were getting twisted inside your brain. Ah, please stop. What is this? Who, who is this person? Not being able to concentrate on your surroundings, you stumbled upon yourself and all the drinks that you were holding. By mistake, they fell on Hyunji's gown. Oh no! Oh my god, what did you do? Just then Mrs. Kim came to you filled with anger and slapped you hard across your face. I knew it. I knew you can't do anything. The stupid girl, are you in your right sense or what? You literally spoiled her wedding dress. I... I I'm sorry. I... You were not even able to form words to speak because of your panic attack. What sorry, huh? Mrs. Kim called Cindy there so as to take you away from there and help Hyunji with the dress. I told you not to mess seriously. She came and grabbed your wrist tightly, began to drag you away, but you don't even know what was happening. You were feeling dizzy. Ma'am, I please I'm I'm so sorry. Cindy pulled your hand harshly and you fell on the ground. Cindy got pissed and pulled your hand once again and you somehow with very difficulty stood up on your feet once again. But she was being very furious, pulling your hand. Ah ma'am, please, it's hurting. You... Cindy was going to pull your hand again but Jungkook stopped her. His wide open eyes as he looked at you being shocked. He stood there stunned to the core of his soul as he saw you. His eyes got filled with tears within a second. You, you, you tried to step backward when you saw him standing in front of you as your hands were shaking by this time. You were getting a panic attack, your heartbeat was fast and your breathing was uneven.
Your name came out as a whisper as shivers ran down through his spine, making him numb from all his sensations. Meanwhile, Hyunji and her mother was confused watching such reactions from Jungkook. I'm sorry, Mr. Joon. I'll take her away. He yelled at her as he gritted his teeth and took long steps towards you and pushed her away from you. He glared at her and she stepped backwards and stood away from you. His eyes forgot to blink as he gazed at your face. Same blonde long hair, same eyes which held the power to make him forget everything. You were the only girl he ever looked at, only girl he misses every night before sleeping. For a second he thought he must be dreaming but no, you are here, right in front of him. He can recognize you even by your shadow. Jungkook tried to move towards you but then you lost consciousness ultimately not able to take it anymore. You were going to hit the ground but he pushed everyone aside and caught you in his protective arms at the right time. He patted your cheeks holding you tightly in his arms. He was scared to death. Just then Mrs. John came to Jungkook. Jungkook what are you doing? Oh, oh my god. She also got shocked as she looked at you. Jungkook quickly had you lifted up in his arms. Jungkook, what are you doing? Jungkook glared at Mrs. Kim with red eyes. He shouted at her and she flinched along with Hyunji and Cindy. Jungkook, you... She couldn't speak anything before Jungkook completely ignored his surroundings and already started walking out of the hall making everyone shocked. As why was the groom carrying some random girl, all his focus was now on you. Hyundi's mother looked at Mrs. John. Mrs. John, what is your son doing? What the hell is wrong with him? How can he shout at me for the random girl? How can he just carry that girl like that? She was very angry and pissed at the moment. I'm so sorry Mrs. Kim. But I don't think this marriage can happen now. There were tears in her eyes. What? What do you mean? That girl? She is my daughter-in-law, my son's wife, John Wayan. Mrs. Kim's jaw dropped to the floor and Cindy already imagined getting fired from her job now. She sat at the ground not able to believe that girl she used to treat like a trash is the wife of the biggest businessman. You gained consciousness and opened your eyes only to find yourself in hospital. You diverted your gaze to your left and saw someone holding your hand tightly as his face was resting on the side of your bed. You opened your mouth slightly to speak and first word that came out of your mouth was his name. Jungkook. Jungkook flinched and lifted his face with a joke and looked at you. He was so nervous and scared. I'm fine, Jungkook. Jungkook felt a rush of relief as he brought your hand on his lips and kissed it multiple times. He had so much to say but instead he bursted out into tears. You frowned and pouted as you wiped his tears softly as he leaned on your touch. Your fingers traced his entire face as if trying to recall his each and every feature. He spoke through tears with his broken voice, feeling overwhelmed by a rush of emotions in his body. I think you were that missing part of my life that I used to recall every day. We were meant to be cook. I'm not leaving your side too early. Don't cry or else I'll also. He 
He smiled through tears and tucked your messy hair behind your ear and placed a kiss on your forehead. Jungkook, can I ask something? You are going to get married. Do you still love me? Jungkook brought his palm on your cheeks and caressed it with his thumb softly. I'm glad you tried to give yourself a second chance. I'm glad you tried even if it was hard. I'm proud of you Jungkook. You made right decisions even if I was not by your side. Promise me no matter what happens you will act strong. You will never give up even if I'm You nodded with a smile but soon your smile faded and Jungkook noticed it. Jungkook, I feel bad for Hyunji. I think we should apologize to her. I don't know what she must be thinking. I don't know how to face her. No, dear, you don't know how much happy I am. You and Jungkook turned to look at her as she came inside the room with Kiki in her arms. She was sleeping. Hyunji. Hyunji came close to you and gave you Kiki in your embrace as you kissed her everywhere on her face and hugged her tightly. Jungkook and Hyunji's eyes got filled with tears looking at you and Kiki. No need to feel bad for me. Isn't it good for all four of us? Mr. Joon and you and Kiki got the family completed. And I? I will probably one day find someone who will look at me the way Jungkook looks at you. I also deserve a love like you, don't you think so? She smiled looking at you and Jungkook. Of course dear, you deserve all the love and happiness of the world. I'm sure someone is waiting for you. Yep, now stop running you lovebirds. Dear, thank you so much for coming back and bringing back the happiness of our family. After you left, we forgot to smile and my son forgot to live his life. She also hugged you with a smile. Then you saw your parents, Mr. and Mrs. Park. They were going out of the room without meeting you. Oma, Appa, why are you leaving? They stopped hearing your voice. You found your real family, dear. I think we should leave now. She had a sad smile on her face. No, Mama, Papa. This was all possible because of you. Please don't say like that. I'm still your daughter. Both of them came to you and you held their hand. You looked at Jungkook. Jungkook, do you know, Appa was on the boat when he found me struggling in the river and then he brought me to the hospital. I had lost my memories and could only remember my name. Mr. and Mrs. Park treated me like their own daughter. Since then, I was living with them. Umma, Appa, after meeting you, I am not an orphan anymore. Thank you for everything. Mr. and Mrs. Park burst into tears. Miss Park hugged you and kissed your forehead. Dear, even though you have gotten back your real family, don't forget about us, okay?
Meaning 